Do you even like being Catholic? It's a good question. So to ask that question, some of my friends and I are going to go on a retreat. A retreat with the homies. A homie retreat. <laughs> Everybody trying to go. The first things first, we need to get some groceries. Jack made lists for all of us, and I decided I was going to win, even though this was not a competition. Bacon, eggs, butter, water bottles. <laughs> I, like your, I like your setup there. Nice. Master, master strategy. I'll introduce to you my friends as we go along. Good thing we sent the average to get the potatoes. I'm the muscle. This is Andrew. He is the self-proclaimed muscle and in my top three list of the funniest people I know. No way, I'm getting mic. Yeah. Yes. Should we go on the inside of my shirt or the outside? Look at that. Or is that a cap? Shh. <laughs> Let's just put it on the, it's got to be a little closer, sorry. <laughs> this is Jack. He is also a member of that top three funniest people list. This is John Paul, or JP, also a member of the top three funniest people I know, but I will not be revealing the order. Jack is the funniest for sure, not a doubt, no doubt in my mind. This is me, I'm John. I don't really know what to say about myself, but um, you get what you pay for. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for such a fun trip. This amazing brotherhood that we have. Lord, I thank you for your gift of nature. <laughs> and the birds. <laughs> I pray that you'll send your Holy Spirit upon Jack and I right now in this moment. Just guide everything that we say. Help us to be authentic and real and, and to love you. We ask for the intercession of the Holy Family as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. I shine my metaphorical interrogation light into JP's poor little unsuspecting eyes. So, first question is, do you, do you like being Catholic? Yeah, absolutely. And I've been thinking about this a little recently too. Why am I Catholic? And I guess, do I like it? Yeah. For one, I was just born into it and I grew up in the faith. And that was like my biggest reason for a while. And then like a few years ago, I had to really like face myself and be like, okay, like it's, it's not just my parents' faith anymore. Like I need to take this on as like my own, I need to step into it myself. <laughs> like for me, I kind of see my faith split into two sides as like a spiritual relationship side and then a like intellectual mental side. Both very, very important and like complement each other a lot. Um, for, so for me, like a few years ago, I started developing that like relationship side and that spiritual side. And after a few years of like getting closer and closer to God and building that friendship and love with the Lord, I kind of started to realize like, okay, I have this spiritual side, but like I need that intellectual side now. Because like if someone came up to me and questioned me like, what, why are you Catholic? Like still the best reason I had was like, it's what I grew up in. After that, I was like, I need more than that. Like that's not enough for me or for like others. So I started studying. I took some like theology classes and stuff and I just learned like the foundations of the church. And honestly, one of the biggest things for me, which I actually learned in my Anglican high school from my Anglican history teacher, <laughs> was apostolic secession. So like the laying on of hands, like the Catholic Church is the only church that like historically can be traced back to, to Jesus Christ directly.
Just just for I am with thee, and I will about you with the right hand. On Sunday, we woke up for Mass and found the nearest Catholic church. They happened to have coffee and donuts that day, so, you know. I think I'm gonna grab this tube one. Am I following you in? Andrew and Jack interviewed me later that day, and I talked for about two hours. Is say recording? Yeah. Okay. A huge injury in his leg. Oh, I saw a UFO. Maybe I'm the left thumb. We are not spiritually mature enough to experience the Giardelli chocolate. But after sifting through it in the edit, I think this portion is really the only relevant thing that I actually said that day. It's about how the Catholic community that I got enveloped in ended up being so much more fulfilling than the more secular life that I used to love. I grew up in a cradle Catholic household. I would say that our family was pretty devout. Uh, I thought I was, you know, like a really good Christian until I realized that the Lord has so much more for me the year 2017, did a summer as a missionary, came into contact with these six other guys. It was such a, such a, a tight-knit bond that we had, and we all had true intentions to grow closer to God. Every one of us did. And to help each other grow closer to God. And it really took all of my desires away from the outside world, from secularism. We were at a camp, so we were kind of in our own bubble. I didn't have my phone anymore. And it got to a point where, you know, every two weeks we would get our phones for a few hours. And I started to dread those, those moments where, you know, like, it's like, hey, oh, we get our phones this weekend. And I would like get nervous and I'd be like, oh, I don't want my phone this weekend. Like, I don't, I don't want my phone anymore. Like, there's, this is just so much better. After our Bible study, I interrogated Jack. Do you like being Catholic? Ooh, I, yeah, I do. I mean, if I didn't, I think that would be a problem. Like being Catholic just, first of all, gives you a well thought out set of morals that are somewhat easy to understand, but they're easy to follow once you accept like the initial truths of the church and everything just kind of falls into place. And so I like being Catholic for that reason. And I like having Catholic friends a lot because it's like, our friendship is based in something other than just the pleasures of the world that lead you down a lot of different paths, you know? And so like having a friendship rooted in Catholicism and in Christ, it sets a standard of like how you should act with your friends and like interact with each other. And I think I like that a lot in um, building brotherhood specifically. When I asked Andrew this question, do you like being Catholic? His answer was short. Yeah. But the analogy he told me afterwards was so incredible that it's stayed with me from this point on. If you're on a lake, um, if you think about the ecosystem and the wildlife in the lake, there's fish and there's frogs and there's maybe beavers and other stuff like that that you would typically think of when you're at a lake. But you don't typically think of like the insects jumping across the top. And they're, they're part of the ecosystem. You just don't think of them. And to be honest, the amount of the lake that 
a little insect that jumps across the top experiences versus what a fish would experience, totally different. If you put yourselves in those shoes and you're just skimming across the top of your faith or the top of anything really, you're not gonna experience the full depth of whatever it has to offer unless you dive in. But if you wanna experience the full joyfulness and the full, the full sorrows, but also the full life, you have to dive in. That night, we built a fire and we had the most deep conversation that we've ever had with each other. It was one of those conversations that you have around the campfire really late at night. And if I'm remembering correctly, I only cried twice. Was this a well-planned men's retreat? No, definitely not. Did we have any super incredible supernatural experiences that changed our life forever? No. But I can tell you what did happen. I received a great gratitude for the friends that the Lord has given me. Our brotherhood grew stronger and deeper, and I learned that we can count on each other to bear each other's burdens and grow closer to the Lord together. And as for the question that we all set out to answer, do you like being Catholic? I think I found my answer. No. I love it. Thanks for joining my friends and I on this adventure. If you want to join in on adventures like this, click the link in our description. We're trying to start a network. We're trying to make a map of like a bunch of cool Catholic communities around America that want to get together and just do fun stuff and adventurous things and form a community. You can, I think the community is super important right now and it's something that we suck at at the moment. So if you like what we're doing, the Patreon link is in the description. I just realized that I don't like the framing and um, I have too much headroom. So I'll probably have to crop in this entire video. Anyways, our Patreon link is in the description. That's how you can help us out financially each month. And we might be selling some merch soon. So keep, keep an eye out for that one. Oh my gosh.